talked about. Or well, there was some talk about lanterns a little while ago. But you know, that actually had a functional difference. What I'm talking about is just, you know, aesthetic differences. They don't have to function any differently from, you know, glowstone or torches or whatever, but just have it look better. Or not even better, but look different. And maybe have them different colors, different brightnesses. I think I've said this briefly. I don't remember if it's in a video or in a in a YouTube comment. But uh, the fact that I wouldn't mind more variety in lighting. Oh, I need to get rid of this. Anyway, so if you imagine that in color, that is what will be on top of that. So I guess I have to move those torches, but that's that's not a problem. Uh, actually, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so that, that's safe. I'm just seeing if you know anything can spawn on top of those, but uh, that should be safe. It's kind of interesting. Abstract. I mean, the idea, as I said earlier, was wings. Different shapes of wings, but um, you know, given how blocky everything is in Minecraft, it doesn't really look like wings. It looks more like just the sculpture and just the shape. And like that, and it looks it looks quite architectural as well. I mean, if you, you know, they look like columns, and then you know those things in Chinese architecture where the, the column meets the, the roof structure and it holds up the roof, the brackets, that's what they're called. They're like structural brackets or something, and it looks a bit like that. Yeah, maybe you can think of other analogies, but yeah, it looks architectural, which is good, because that's the kind of thing I'm into, right? Okay, so what's the next plan? I guess I've designed most of it, and uh, all I have to do now is to just build it, which is not the most interesting thing in the world. Oh, there's sand under there, that's interesting. Yeah, that, that's better. Um, one more issue that I can think of before we carry on, or rather because, or before I stop recording and start building it off screen, is where to put the fountains at the end of the courtyard. Oh, I need more dirt, don't I? Let's just grab more dirt for now. Uh, yep. Because now that I've made it bigger, I think I need to extend the courtyard. Actually, I might not even have it shaped like that at the ends of the courtyard. Just let me grab a whole bunch of dirt so I can build things. Um, where's the where's the dirt? Here we go. Let's just spam that. And huh, from a distance it looks like that. It's brown <laughs> it's brown, so it's not very interesting. I imagine that in color. So no that that's actually a, a good size I think. If you imagine that's on top of that. So it's not huge, it doesn't block out anything, but it would be just a you know, a dash of colour at the three points, at the ends of the courtyard and in the middle. Just to provide a little bit of highlight in an otherwise grey and brown and green environment, you know, look at that. In a way it, it's kind of good that there's such a limit in the colours, you know, everything kind of fits together, there's glass on either side. You know, on the left there's a tower, on the right there's the sheep farm, and then there's the continuity of the greys and the browns that ties everything together, and everything's the same theme. That's kind of nice, I like that. That's a little strange because of those experimental things in the middle. But there, maybe too much grey, I mean, might have to plant some trees in the middle maybe. Anyway, that, I'm getting sidetracked. I was just thinking maybe at the ends of the courtyard, if we can pillar up for a little bit, what I might do is 
Um, hmm. Actually, let me think about this. Well, okay, I, I can think of two options. Either at the end of the courtyard, I extend the semicircle out, kind of like that, if you can imagine, and then have the fountain. I mean, at the at the moment, it, you see how it just ends at a, at a flat rectangle. So where that line is will be halfway in the fountain, and then extend out a semicircle at both ends. That's one option. The other option is to keep it square and chop off this end here so that the square ends like there and the fountain sits right on the edge. Actually, I think I like the semicircle more, it, it, except there'll be a little bit more work because I have to you know, fill in a semicircle there and I have to dig out a bit of that hill there and fill in a bit of that there. And I have to decide how you know, the courtyard pattern, you see how there's four and four and then a gap, and then how that pattern extends out into the semicircle. So I need to figure out a few more things if I do the semicircle, but I think I like that more. Hmm. It looks like this is going to be a bigger project than I expected, right? Okay, I think I'll leave that until later. For now, I'll just build a central fountain. And then maybe release these videos after that's done, and then do the end fountains in the, in the, in the next session, maybe. Okay, let's do that. Uh, right, I've... D oh, sand. Maybe I should go look for sand. Let me just check how much I have. And now uh, let me try to decide where I can get more sand from. Where it wouldn't be missed too much. I, hmm. I don't really want to harvest it from outside the boundary. But at the same time, you know, whenever you harvest sand, you leave this huge gaping hole in the landscape because you're taking it from the surface of the world. Unlike cobblestone, I mean, all this cobblestone comes from deep underground and you don't see it. See, I have that much sand, that's nowhere near enough. Or well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I use one stack. No, no, I'll probably need more. Um, what should we do? What should we do? We can try to decide where to harvest the sand from. Or we can decide to just harvest it from outside the boundary and then not care. See, I was thinking at some point in playing this game, I'm gonna have to establish a sand mine somewhere and just strip mine the landscape for sand. But uh, I wasn't going to do it anytime soon. Well anyway, I'm sure I have enough sand there for at least one fountain. So maybe I'll just build the one and see how much sand that takes. And then decide after that what I'll do. Okay, I'll stop walking around when I'm thinking and then I'll just I'll deal with this off screen. And I'll come back when I've decided something. Alright, so as I said in the last bit, I'm going to rebuild this dirt fountain in sand and sandstone. And it's not terribly interesting except that I found a bit of sand underneath the courtyard there. So uh, I got a bit more sand, I still don't think I have enough. And also because the courtyard is hollow underneath half of it, I need to fill in a lot of the stuff. So I replaced that with sand, and as I said, that's actually underneath the level of the courtyard, and so I had to fill in that stuff with dirt. And here I'm not going to fill in the whole thing with dirt, but I'm going to have to put a layer of dirt underneath here. So underneath there, a layer of dirt, and then put sand on top of that. So 
It's not too complicated, but it's also not entirely straightforward. So uh, I'm just going to remove this bit of the courtyard here because it needs to be sand at the bottom of the fountain. Uh, that's all I have to say so far, I believe. I mean, it's still not too many things to, to say or to show. Uh, let's see, how far back does this go? It goes very, very far back, apparently. I mean, I can replace most of that stuff with dirt as well to recover the, the slabs and even the cobblestone, I guess. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, yep, okay, let, let's come down here. For now, we'll pick all this stuff up. Um... And we want the dirt at that level there. And, uh, well, that, that doesn't matter. I'll just put that there. I guess I'll... oops. I guess I'll fill in up to that point there. And, hmm, I should dig this out as well. Oh, uh, wait. So on this side it goes... to there. Right. And, um, yep. And let's jump up. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. What am I doing? What am I... Yep. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm incoherent. I'm trying to think and, and, and work at the same time, anyway. So, uh, that's what I want to do. I think I'll get rid of the mushrooms as well. I'll, I'll build a proper mushroom farm. Get, well, uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't want to make promises and then not do anything for a long time, but I'm thinking about getting rid of all the mushrooms and then building a proper mushroom farm down here. So there'll be a lot fewer mushrooms, but it'll look better. Anyway, that, that's another thing to put on the long list of things that I can do in Minecraft. The long list of things that I don't know when I'll have time to do. Okay, so yeah, like that. Now we can go back up and put sand where we've um, put the dirt. Uh, where's the way out? It's this way, isn't it? And I don't come down here very often, but it's one of the few remnants of the early game. You know, this here, I remember when I first started looking for materials, I dug down here a little bit. And then I came down here and, and digged I think I went, yeah, I went under the bedrock here, so I started coming down and then I staircased my way all the way down to the bedrock. That way. Anyway, this is all ancient history by now, it's like a year ago. Over a year ago. When I first started playing this game. And the first time I hit bedrock was over here, underneath the courtyard, anyway. Good old days. Alright, so we'll run back to the fountain. And, uh, yeah, so then I can put the sand down here. But before we do that, let's 
do this. So I will dig out the rest of the the bottom of this fountain here. And I don't know, I guess I can just leave the the other remnants of the courtyard underneath the fountain. I said just now that I might recover the, the slabs, but I guess the slabs aren't that important anyway. I mean, it's not like it's rare. Although I do use a lot of slabs for the the wall. The boundary wall. Oops. Alright, so we've dug out that and then put sand down. This is the bottom of the fountain, so this is underneath the water in the fountain. If you're wondering what I'm doing, and I'm kind of staring downwards all the time so you can't really see what I'm looking at. Ah, I need more sand. So, okay, this is not interesting. I guess I'll stop recording again. Anyway, before I do that, we can step back a bit. So, if you imagine I'm just gonna do this for all the rest of the dirt, I'm just gonna use sand for most of it, except for that bit there, which has to be sandstone, because you know, sand can't levitate in the air like that. And uh, yeah, I'll come back when that's done, and then we can build that in wool soon. Yep. Okay, I've just gone and got some wool from the sheep here, and I finished rebuilding the fountain in sandstone. I thought I'd start recording here because we can look at it from above and from a distance. It looks like that. It's, uh, I don't know, it's interesting. Hmm. The shape is interesting, anyway. So the shears are almost done, almost used up. I've got... hopefully that's enough. Um, there is a possibility that it's not enough and I have to come back, but that, that's not a problem. So, uh, as I said, blue for the middle fountain. And uh, it's gonna be in that shape, the sculpture thing on top. So I'm thinking it'll be dark towards the bottom and the inside and then it'll lighten out as we go to the edge. Or at least that's the plan. Let's see how this works out. Uh, well, I need to get up there first, so let's just um, build ourselves a little staircase. Let's see, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks high. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do five. Six and seven. One, two, three. Four. Let's do that. Ouch. So we're two up. And then one, two, three, and then... I kind of need some scaffolding, don't I? I don't